Okay, here today we have a Max Solar solar power inverter and this one is uh, coming up with the red fault light on at times and uh, you can see right now, there we go, the red fault light's just come on and the green power light's on so it's actually uh, receiving DC power, solar power from the roof but it's detecting a fault with the system and uh, yeah, having this issue. Now, in this case of the Max Solar Inverters, unfortunately, we have seen quite a few issues with these inverters. And we are having a fault light like that. The uh, best thing to try and do is try to reboot the system. See if it will actually restart after a reboot. Um, it can be like you're a bit like your computer. If you've got a problem with your computer, one of the first things to try and do is try and restart it, reboot it, and see if that uh, clears any errors you're having. So with a solar power system, it's always important that you do it in the uh, shut down the inverter correctly by following the shutdown procedure, which we can find over here. We turn off the solar supply main switch. That would be located in your switchboard or the inverter AC isolator. Now in this case here, we've got an inverter AC isolator. So we're just going to turn that one off. And then turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter. And we can see that over here, PV ray DC isolator. So we just Turn that one off, and we'll leave the system for a few seconds. We want those lights to go off. We want uh, all the power to be drained from the inverter before we try giving it a proper reboot. A bit like a computer, you should leave that for about 30 seconds or so before you try rebooting it. Now, uh, with the Max Solar inverters, unfortunately, the, the Max Solar company has actually disappeared. They're no longer around, and what that unfortunately means is your warranty is not worth the paperwork it was written on. Uh, so if we can't get this re, uh, restarted and uh, working again properly after a reboot, there's only two real options. One is to repair the inverter or to replace the inverter altogether. Now, repairing the inverter is, is not going to leave you any change from $500 you're going to have to get an electrician to come and uh, take the, the inverter out. You're going to need to send it to a repair person, a repair company. They're going to repair it, which is going to cost you quite a bit of money. And then you're going to have to get sent back and reinstalled by an electrician. And so that's not going to leave you a lot of uh, spare change from $500. And you've still got an inverter, which unfortunately is of inferior quality and with no warranty. So in my opinion, you're much better off to just uh, bite the bullet and replace your Max Solar Inverter with a quality replacement unit. So we'll just, look, before we go down that line anyway, we're just going to try rebooting this system now, restarting it. And um, the shutdown procedure is always very important with solar power systems, but the startup procedure doesn't matter too much. So we're just going to turn on the AC here first, and then we're going to try the DC. It takes about a, well, a minute or so for a solar power system to actually start up. So at the moment it's just got the power light on there. We want to see both the power and run light on for this system to be working. If just the power light's on, it's, and the, but the run light is not on, then the system is not working. Now, just so you know, the uh, Maxwell inverter down the side of the inverter actually has the data about the inverter on it. So if you're wanting to find out exactly what size your inverter is, and uh, that type of information, we can, and the serial number of the inverter, not that it's any help because you can't make a warranty claim now. And in this case, we see it's a, a Maxwell TL3K. The 3K tells uh, it's a 3 kilowatt, 3,000 watt, and you can see that here where we go to uh, the PAC, the AC nominal power output is 3,000 watts. So this is a 3 kilowatt unit here, and so uh, if you were to get this inverter replaced, you'd be looking at a 3 kilowatt unit uh, most of the time, unless you wanted to change the actual size of the system. So we'll come back to the front and see how it's actually going there, see if we've got anywhere. Uh, we've come up with the fault light again. So in this case here, we've got the uh, rebooting the system has not helped at all. We've still got the same issue. Max Solar are not around anymore to to uh, cover any warranties. And so I'd be recommending to this customer to replace this inverter with a quality uh, 3 kilowatt 
solar inverter, which is a full warranty and uh, will provide a lot of years of a lot more years of trouble free service. So, look, if you've got a Max Solar which is coming up with this type of issue, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, if you need any help, feel free to call Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. We're there to help with just this type of thing. And uh, look, we can help you get your solar power system back fully operational again as soon as possible. Thanks very much for taking the time to watch this video.